Hello everybody, it's Andrea and today we are going to do some more of Joanna's Christmas in this colouring catch up. So this is one we've been doing with Grace Fonseca from Grace's Colouring Corner and also from Shalene, uh, Shalene Talen's also doing it. I've actually got my Christmas mug. Merry Christmas! I got hot chocolate and cream. So if I just stop to eat the cream, <laughs> just ignore me. Mmm, lovely. So we're going to carry on with this and we're actually, oops I'm spilling hot chocolate everywhere, I'm going to just quickly colour in the mistletoe berries with this yellow which I think is cadmium yellow lemon and we're still using the polychromos just because I do, I do like, um, so we're just going to do the, oh I've done the wrong ones then. The mistletoe berries, not the um ah other one. And I've left my electric shaft and the electric thingy what's it on the sofa. It won't be a second. It's one of those days, I think. Anyway, oops, so oh, there goes the folder. Oops, never mind. Let's just get that out. That's better. Right. I'm sitting very close to the tripod stand here. It's very difficult because... Um... Hmm. Not being left-handed. Yes, I am a South Pole. So I'm just looking for the ones that go with the um, mistletoe. It's here. So, I'm still also colouring in my little puppy from um, Jade Summer Christmas. Mm, I love hot chocolate. This is Galaxy Hot Chocolate, by the way. If you're UK, you can get that quite easily in your supermarket. I absolutely love Galaxy Hot Chocolate. It is my favourite. In fact, it's the only store hot chocolate I like. So, I'm quite fussy when it comes to hot chocolate. Mm. But the Galaxy one is just yummy. And to be fair, the only hot chocolate I like to drink when I'm out is from Starbucks. I have tried others. And it's alright, but I would rather have Starbucks than anything else. So I'm just going around. I'm going to lose my shavings in a minute. Just doing all these little bits of the... Um... Oops, that's the wrong one. I'm looking for the... Uh... Berries that go on the with the mistletoe just to get them done. So most of these are actually holly berries. Holly, 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 holly. And this mistletoe up here, look. That, that one there and that one there. And then we just go around there's one there, that's the one I've done. One there I've done. There's one there. It looks like I've done some of these. Um, it is hard to see them because they are really, really tiny. So that's the, the mistletoe berries done. And that was with the light cadmium yellow lemon or something like that anyway. There are some strange titles, I'm not going to lie. I love hot chocolate. <laughs> did I say that already? Yes, you did, shut up. So, how are you getting on with your Christmas colouring? Are you colouring the same as uh, um, Shalene and Grace, like I am this week? I don't know whether I'm going to do the next week. It depends on what they pick. Because I have got lots of Christmas colouring books. I just don't seem to be able to stop buying them. My glasses are steaming up. But that's just because I love Christmas. Who doesn't love Christmas, right? 
So I'm going to try and do one picture in each of the books and go back and then do more. So um, I actually got another book today. I know I, I have literally, literally today just uploaded a Colouring Book Supplies haul. And another book arrived at my mum's today, and that was um, the Hanlin A Whimsy Girls Christmas. I gotta be honest, the cutesy girls, they've never really, I never really got them, I never really liked them. I liked them to look real, like the Selena Fennec women. But I gotta say, because I've, I've coloured in a couple of Hanlin pictures that I downloaded from her site, They've really grown on me a lot and I think they're so cute and there's some lovely ones in that book that I can't actually wait to get on and colour. I am not going to lie. So we're still using polychromous on this. I have been asked to use the Tombow Erodotons. So I will be using those on one of the pictures. I will pick a picture and just colour it with those. Um, just to see what, you know, what they're like. Because I've only used them really the once and that was on the, um, that was on a hand, no, that was on a Jade Summer picture. That was on uh, the one from Choir Girls. Just to, to test. And I, I like them, so I want to see what they... I like um, again on another book because obviously that one was um, on paper I, I bought from Hobbycraft so it's slightly thicker paper than in the actual books so and I know that the pencils are quite hard so when you've been using the softer pencils like the Prismacolors and obviously the Derwent Color Softs it's quite odd when you go to a harder Pencil, if you excuse me, sniffling. It's cold here today, hence why I've got hot chocolate. Um, it's odd to go to a harder pencil, but I will do a picture on camera from one of the Christmas coloring books with just the Erodotons. I don't know which one yet because like I said this, it's very hard to get skin tones on that because. On the, the Jade Summer one, I had to use three or four different colours just to get the skin to look like skin. It was was quite difficult. But it wasn't that bad. It could have been a lot worse. So, so Vlogmas is still going okay. I've done every day so far. As well as my normal videoing. I just didn't want my vlogmas to just be what I normally put out. I wanted it to be about my life. So it is interesting I hope to people to see what I get up to. I mean obviously this isn't my normal life because I'm on I'm not at work so this is what I'm doing while I'm off work on my leave. And I'm not going to do it all year because you don't want to see me giving birth or anything, right? <laughs> Tough because you're not going to see that anyway. We ain't no Robbie Williams in this, in this house. But um, obviously there will be odd vlogs here and there. Um, it is hard to find things to show people. You know, every day something different when really your life... I don't, well, I love the area I live in. It's so beautiful, especially in spring and summer. But it's hard to find different things to film. So, for instance, Sunday I'm going to Cardiff. We're off to Newport again on Saturday, but I, that's just to pick something up. I want to go and get a diary for next year. I tend to keep a journal, a diary of what I do. I don't write in it every day. I try, <laughs> it doesn't work. So I need to get next year's because uh, I haven't got one yet and I've got a 25% off voucher for W. Smith so if they've actually got the one I want, I'll 
look at it from there with my voucher. So I've kept a diary for years. Some of it's boring, just what I've been doing day to day. Some of it's things that have happened in the world. So if there's a natural disaster or a terrorist attack or which I hate having to write about, but I think it's important that, that it's remembered. Sometimes it'll be about um, the passing of a famous person, so, you know, they tend to get mentioned. But it's just how I feel about things mostly. Some of it's quite depressing, some of it's probably quite silly, and uh, it's just way of keeping on top of things. Oh, that hot chocolate is lovely. I don't really paste much into journals other than... I'm so tired. Um, birthday cards from my partner and Christmas cards, Valentine's cards, stuff like that that Paul gives me. I do put them in, but uh, or if there's a photograph I want to put in sometimes, put them in. Sometimes print up a photo and put that in as well. Move this down a bit so I can actually get to it. So I haven't wrapped up any more presents yet. I will be doing some of that soon. I think it's just so easy to when you're not at work to let the days get away from you. So you know, I have been going out down to mum and dad's and popping out down to Risca just to have a wander around the shops and just do some general things, buy a newspaper or something, just like buy a newspaper is uh, getting me out in the fresh air. I'm not. Hmm. I'm not. I don't know. Sometimes you just think, what am I doing? But, uh, yeah. Nice to do a bit of colouring, just sit and relax. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just grateful there was hot chocolate in the tub because Paul's terrible for just drinking hot chocolate and not telling me when he's run out. He drinks it all and then I'm like, there's no hot chocolate! And he's like, I'm oh, sorry. I mean, Tesco's not far away, but I have to drive down there to get it. So I tend to get it when I do my proper shopping on a weekend. I go and get some hot chocolate and decaf coffee for Paul, because he likes decaf in the evenings and he drinks regular cafe in the regular strength in the morning, but uh, not at night. So I don't drink coffee at all. Never really liked it, but that, you know, it's just me. I like hot chocolate and like tea. I like the smell of coffee, especially if it's freshly percolated. That's a lovely smell. One of the best smells there is. So Christmas is almost ready to begin in my world because my brother gets home on Friday. Catches his plane tomorrow got his what he's hoping 
will be his flight details because he's flying standby because he works for the company, the airline, it's cheaper if he goes standby and he can also get an upgrade because he's like six foot five and he's got a bad back so economy is not the best place for him so when he can he will get an upgrade. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing him. I'm hoping he'll, he might want to go out for lunch into Newport to Wagamama's now. He loves Wagamama's. I've never been to Wagamama's, I've got to be honest. But I am trying to work my way around all the restaurants at Friars Walk, which is the big shopping centre in Newport. They've got some lovely restaurants there. Um, they got a tapas bar called the Drago Lounge. We've got uh, TGI Fridays, Chiquitas. Um, what else is there? Las Iguanas, CZ Prezzo, Le Bistro Pierre, Wagamama's, Gourmet Burger Kitchen. And I've been in most of them. I haven't been in the Gourmet Burger Kitchen Newport. I've been in the Cardiff Bay one. I, I have been in there. I went in there with some friends a while back. I haven't been in Wagamama's, I haven't been in ZZ's, I haven't been in Prezzo's, Prezzo's or whatever it is. Um, and I haven't been in P P uh, Bistro Pierre, which is a French restaurant. I really want to go there. Because I love France. But the Drago Lounge is one of my favourite places. Oh yeah, there's also a Nando's, I love a Nando's. Um, I love going in, just going into the Drago Lounge with my friends and chilling out, having some tapas. The food is lovely. Staff are fantastic. And the reason we go there, it's quite close to the Dolmen. So when we're rehearsing, if we're rehearsing like a Sunday lunchtime, we might go and have uh, something to eat there before or after. When we actually do the, the when we're actually in the theatre doing the production week, we always go to the, normally, most times go to the New Lahore Indian restaurant, which is literally opposite, which is a fantastic place. If you like Indian food, then I do. The guys at the New Lahore are a fantastic team. I can't highly recommend that place. I can't recommend it enough. It's fantastic. I like food. You might have gathered that. I do love my food. I am a fussy eater, though. I mean, I don't... I don't know about you guys, but I'm not big on cheese. I like cheese on certain things, but I, w I can't bear it on others. It's very, very odd. So, for instance, I don't like cold cheese as well. So, whereas, like, Paul will get a block of cheese and have a cheese sandwich, or actually, Paul will just get a block of cheese and eat a block of cheese. Can't stand it. If it's on... melted on something like pizza or ocean pie, cottage pie, even cheese on toast, I'm happy. I'm happy. I can do that. I like it. I don't get mac and cheese. It's not a British thing, and I don't like cauliflower cheese. It's like a waste of a good cauliflower. Well, that's just me. Paul doesn't like mashed potato. I love mashed potato. We're all different, and and that's allowed. But. Um, yeah, I'm quite fussy when it comes to things like that. Whereas Paul, he loves his cheese. So. He doesn't have a very sweet tooth. He'd rather have cheese than something sweet. I'd rather have sweet stuff. Especially if it's got lemon in it. I love anything with lemon in it. I've got to be honest, lemon's one of my favourite things. Lemon and mango. If I'm having a dessert and there's a mango sorbet on, on the menu, I will have a mango sorbet. I love it. So, I've been watching Grace's Colouring Corner and she said that she found a video editor 
that allows her to edit her videos into MPEG-4s, which is the ones that YouTube prefers the format and apparently it uploads a lot quicker. So I looked at my uh, video editor and it does convert to MPEG, so I am giving that a try. And this one will be uploaded with an MPEG, so I don't know how long it's going to take to upload. But normally even a 30 minute video takes 2 or 3 hours and it really shouldn't be taking that long. So I'm hoping that if I can get... get it edited, it won't take as long to upload tonight. Now I have noticed uh, that the ones I have been doing, I've started converting some to MPEG, I've noticed the conversion rate is a lot faster. Maybe because it's compressing it down further and that's why it's not taking as long to load. Because um, I've noticed whereas converting to an AVI file, which is what I was doing, was converting at tops at 8 frames per second, the converting to MPEG is taking a frame rate of around 18 frames a second, which is like just over twice as fast. So I'm thinking it's the way it compresses the file, which is fine. I haven't got a problem with that. It's for YouTube. I'm not making a motion picture, am I? I'm not trying to be the next Scorsese. So, as long as the quality is good enough for you to watch, then that's fine with me. So Grace and Shalina are both doing this picture and, and both of their pictures look fantastic, I must say. Um, Grace has done it in some fan fantastic colours, I must admit, some fantastic colours. I'm, I'm kind of sticking to almost traditional colours, but I do intend to put a fair bit of stickles on it. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to stickle the hell out of it when I'm done. So it's Cozy Colouring Corner this weekend, it's Cozy Colouring Weekend. On Saturday night. I love that, it's so much fun, we just sit and chat to each other. Not a lot of colouring gets done, a little bit, but not a lot. And Sammy from Colouring Chat with Sammy, I'll put a link to her channel down below so you can have a look if you're not already a subscriber, and you should be. Um, so she's in the UK, so she runs the UK uh, Sprint or live stream on Saturday at 6pm. She recently got a load of stickles from scrapbook.com, which is an American company. And I was wondering about how the shipping was on that because, and the shipping wasn't too bad. Stickles over here cost around £4, £4.50 a bottle compared to a dollar and a half on scrapbook.com and she said even with the shipping which was like uh, I think it was $8.99 or $6.99 something like that and, and taxes um, import charges which were, about eight, eight, were a bit high a bit more than that it was still cheaper per bottle to order them from scrapbook.com than from um, Amazon UK where they are four or five pound a bottle if not more Unless you get one as an add-on item when they're, like, they're about the one pound fifty, one pound sixty, sometimes as much as two or three pounds. But the, the thing with an add-on item is you can only buy it if you're getting twenty quid's worth of stuff. And sometimes you don't want to buy twenty quid's worth of stuff. It's different at Christmas. You know, like I'm ordering loads of Christmas presents and stuff, but I'm not going to do that all year. So I'm thinking. After Christmas, I might order a load of stickles from scrapbook.com scrapbook and get them shipped. But I might leave it till after Christmas now because it's getting a bit close for stuff to be shipped. And I don't want it getting lost in the mail. So I'm definitely going to try scrapbook.com because they look absolutely... They've got so many different colours. So... And some of the prices we pay over here for things like that. Ah, there you go. So I have been uh, reading some comments about people saying that uh, the 
Prismacolors on Michaels are really expensive compared to on Amazon. Well, yes, of course they are. Michaels is a physical shop. Amazon isn't. Now, and I think people do forget this, that if it's, if you're ordering from Amazon, they're an online retailer. They don't have the overheads that somewhere like Michaels or in our country, Hobbycraft have, which is rent, rates, um, gas and electric. They still have to pay rent and rates and gas and electric, but they are always different to online places who just maybe have a warehouse and a skeleton staff. Um, there isn't the overheads that a place like Michael's or over here Hobbycraft would have. Um, so products are always going to be cheaper online because they don't have those overheads. So I do think that some shops though do overprice things, but I expect to pay more in a shop than online because of their overheads and they've still got to make a profit as well whereas you know in a shop even if it's in a large shop you've got to have you know the same as you do you have to have building rent and rates lights gas electricity but then you've got to have staff to do the different jobs for instance you'll have staff in the warehouse and load in the stock and get it ready to put on the shelves then you'll have the staff on the on the the, the shop floor as well um, whereas somewhere like Amazon will just have warehouse staff and they you know and I'm never gonna knock Amazon because I use them all the time all the time I use Amazon I think they're I, I can't say anything about their worth ethics, I don't know anything about it, but for customer service I've never had a problem with them, touch wood and whistle, it stays that way. The prices have always been good. And they are convenient to use. I mean, I love shopping online. Not so much for clothes, I prefer to go out and try clothes on in the shops. But for stuff like this, online shopping, you can't go wrong. I mean, I don't particularly, I don't like big crowds, so shopping online is perfect for that. Especially this time of year, when it is really busy, because there are lots of people out and about shopping. I just don't, I get, don't like the crowds. I get a bit freaked. Got a bit freaked out in the doctor's surgery yesterday when I was there waiting to see the midwife because there was this woman kicking off because she couldn't get an appointment. And she was kicking off because she couldn't get through on the phone lines. And then when she did get through, there's no appointments because they've all been booked up. And I totally, totally get her frustration. I totally get it. I, I'm 100% with her on that. But she was really carrying on in front of the receptionist and it's, it's not their fault they're doing the best they can with what they got you know this was an older woman it wasn't a youngster or anything like that I mean I must admit that if I need a doctor's appointment an emergency you can go and sit there from two o'clock and wait to see and you will be seen you may have to wait a couple of hours but you will be seen yeah and it's hard if you're working to be able to do that because most employers wouldn't give you the time. My employer only gives us two hours off for appointments, which is more than generous enough normally. But you could be sitting there for a long time, but I'm not working at the moment, so it wouldn't bother me going to sit down there for two hours. I just take a book with me or an audio book, sit and read or sit and listen, look at the internet on my phone. If I know I need, I need an appointment because I need to see a doctor for a prescription, I usually know at least a fortnight in advance I'm going to need a prescription or when I'm going to need it um, and we have this online booking system called My Health Online something they're trying to implement through the NHS but we've had it in Wales for quite a while now I can go on there and I can book a, an appointment the 
camera stopped again. I'm assuming, I don't know why it got over hot, I expect. I was talking about my health online. I can go online uh, two or three weeks before and book an appointment because I know when a medication review is coming up. If it's an emergency, I'll go and sit there. I can order my prescriptions via that site too. As long as I'm not due a medication review. And I'll know when I'm due a medication review because it'll tell me I can't order any more prescriptions. So I would then just go and book an appointment. So that's, yeah. I mean, I totally get that older people don't necessarily like using technology. My parents don't. But I said, look, if you want to set it up, at least for dad who does need the doctors, because he's got high blood pressure and things like that, you get it set, get them to get it set up. They'll give you a letter. I'll set the online computer side up, set up the passwords, and I'll manage it for you. I don't mind. I'd rather them have the convenience of being able to say, right, I need to order some medication in two weeks. I need to go and see the doctor for a meds review and be able to get an appointment rather than have to phone and get frustrated because they can't get through. Because it is very, very difficult to get through sometimes to the surgery and I, I know why they've got the staff they're allowed out and they're all on but they've got so many trying to people answering the phone but they've also got people coming through the door I've been down there for an appointment at 8 o'clock in the morning to have bloods done like a fasting blood test when you can't eat the night before or have breakfast before you can have it and they're queuing along the street to get in to make an appointment for that day because they've given up trying to phone, they know that if they go down, they'll get an appointment that day. And they, they don't want to sit and wait. And it may be because they've got employers. For me, it's always been hard because I'm either... I either start work at 8 or I'm on my way to work at 8. So it's very hard for myself to get down there to, to do that. But I don't blame people for doing it. I mean, now I'm off. I don't mind going to sit down in the doctor's surgery. It's nice and warm, got comfortable seats. There's magazines to read. They've got a bookshelf where you can buy books. You know, secondhand books that they are selling for charity. I've bought loads of books from there. I take a book down myself and read. It's not, it's not horrible. It's, it's just frustrating because you're sitting there for ages. But in these times, you gotta do what you gotta do. And if you want to see a doctor, if it's that important, if you're that desperate to see one, you will go and see one, even if you have to wait for two hours. I mean, I've got to be honest, I've been down there and I've been in and out within an hour of emergency in the emergency or with the duty doctor. Another time I've been down there, I've been down there for two and a half hours. It just depends on where you are in the queue and what time you get there. But I always make sure I've got a, a book with me or an audio book on my phone to listen to. Not so much listening to an audio book there because it is quite difficult because you need to be able to hear the tannoy but to read a normal book is quite easy in between that. So that's what I do. And I wish my mum and dad were set up on my health online so I could sort out their stuff for them because, I mean, my dad gets frustrated but he would never take it out on the staff. And they say that today's generation, the millennials are like the me generation who want everything now. Oh no, that woman was not giving up. She was kicking off big time. Saying she's going to go down the hospital, she's going to make a complaint that she can't get an appointment when she wants one. Well, you know, she's not the only one. We've all had that problem. But it is just one of those things that, you know, we, you know, if you can't afford to go private, you have to put up with. That's the NHS. We're lucky to have it. We're very lucky to have it. I know we're very lucky to have it. I'm grateful to it. But um, it was it was quite frightening. 
I mean, even though she wasn't young, I mean, she was, she had a walking stick and she was waving it around her and I'm not standing behind her because I need to get to the desk. I don't think she's going to hit me with that in a minute. And, you know, she's going to hit me in the stomach with that and I'm pregnant and it's not good. But luckily, um, I managed to get into mid see the midwife and uh, by the time I came out, she'd gone. So that was a relief. So I then went to the... Oh, which was this is the light on from the inside, isn't it? Um, I went to the desk then to make an appointment for the midwife again in a fortnight because I'm seeing her every two weeks for my blood pressure. But it was kind of scary. So I wasn't going to do a video every day on this, but I think I'm going to have to do one tomorrow because we're already at uh, 25, 26 minutes. Nearly maybe 30, I'm not actually sure. And I'm only still on the poinsettia leaves. I'm enjoying doing it though. It's pretty. So Paul is out on Sunday night. So we've got Sunday night I can film too. So we're, um, we're going into Cardiff during the day. And then when we're finished, doing what we got to do. He's going to go off and meet his friend and have a pint. And I'm going to go to my mum and dad's for tea. And then I'm going to come home and I can do some more colouring on this because um, he won't be there. But, the, you know, it's only Wednesday today, so I'll probably do another one tomorrow. I'm just thinking the leaves around the edge are going to take forever. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to do a black ground, background or not. I'm thinking black. But it depends what colour I do the bauble, because I'm thinking purple. Purple and gold, because then i got stickles. So i got some nice stickles I can put on it, purple and gold ones. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment, but it's, you know, could all change. Oh yeah, it's looking good though. Saying that, I have done a majority of the inside of the bauble. It's just, I haven't done the red, I haven't done the robin, I haven't done the little red holly berries, and I haven't done the inside background or the insides of the poinsettias, which is uh, probably what I'll do next because I'm working on those. So... I think they're looking rather yummy. It is very strange being off work. Um, I miss Paul when he goes in because I'm on my own all day at the moment. So I'm making a point of trying to get out and about. Like yesterday I had the midwife so at least I saw somebody. And today I went out to mum and dad's. Tomorrow I got choir practice with work. There was one on Tuesday, but I was running late, so I didn't go. So I'm going to go to tomorrow's. Mm. I'm still drinking this hot chocolate because it's such a big mug. But it's nice. It's a very nice drink. So in the evenings, if I'm colouring, I usually do it on the sofa and I just curl up next to Paul. He reads a book and I do some colouring. Sometimes I read a book. I've got to get on with these presents at some point. But, um, I mean, it's not... It's only the... 6th of December so it's not like it's desperate, it's not like Christmas Day is tomorrow or anything and I haven't done anything but I like these poinsettias, they look really nice Ooh, I could go to sleep though, I'm getting tired again So, I'm going to go to the top one now to the background leaves, background petals so I'm not going to go mad buying food for Christmas. I've got a turkey in. Ready? For Christmas dinner in the freezer. 
I just need to get some potatoes. We've always got vegetables in the house, but I want, I want, I want some for mashed potato because I love it. So I need to get some proper potatoes in. Got gravy stock in. So I use that for other things. I need a cake. I don't eat a lot of, I don't eat Christmas pudding. It's too rich for me. Used to love it, not so much anymore. So, I'm going to uh, go with the, um, just get a cake. Not a Christmas cake either, just a chocolate cake for dessert. Obviously I'm not drinking. So I have orange juice with my dinner. I might get some ham. I love ham at Christmas. My dad always boils a lovely ham. I like getting there just after it comes out the pan and it's cooling and it is absolutely scrumptious. And oh, it's just it's just so nice when it comes out and it's still hot, but it's like, it's just falling off. It's crumbling and it's gorgeous. So Boxing Day is my brother's birthday and we'll be going over there for dinner and it'll be turkey and chips. Yay. And if we've got any turkey left, which we should do, I'm just gonna make a turkey curry. That'll be nice. We both like curry. We'll have a curry with ours. So I've nearly finished this. This bit, the red. I gotta admit, I don't jump all over a page. I mean, I've noticed that Grace sometimes well, she'll do this bit and then she'll do that bit. And that's fine, that's how she works and it keeps it interesting. But for me, I'm quite... specific on how I want to do things so I want to do things in a particular order oh my phone's ringing I bet it's nobody exciting hang on people um but yeah so um I've got where I was coloring now I know it's the lighter colors that's fun isn't it when you, when you, you get disturbed and you forget so that was my mum. It was fine. There's nothing wrong. There we go. That's them done. I'm just going to do the, uh, the middle. And then we'll call it a day, I think. So it's getting on. And uh, we've been going for quite a while, so... hard to see this so I'm going zoom. Oh I am zoomed in lovely. Just gonna get in on it. So I'm going to finish off these flowers and then that's it for the night. Tomorrow, it's better. When I come in, I will focus. Gosh, the camera. Um, do the holly berries and the purple, I think purple bauble background. I think we're going to go with purple baubles background. And then it just leaves us with the top. I'm going to show you that in a minute, what I plan on doing. Let me just do this. Hmm. 
There we go. I have one present to buy this week and that's for Secret Santa at work which is next week I can give that to my manager who is in the Christmas choir with me and she can pass it on to the person who's stolen them out so that's what we've done today we finished off the green um, in the, the, the bauble we've done the, the mistletoe and the poinsettia leaves so tomorrow we're going to do the holly berries and um, the background, the string, and then this top bit. So we'll do the top bit in yellow because we're going to stickle it with gold. We'll do this as a purple ribbon, same colour as the background, um, and we'll put stickles on that as well. And then we'll look at how long we've got left. And hopefully we'll be able to do this bit. Friday and then it's just the background if I decide to do the background but that depends on how bright the rest of it is so there we go that's how much we've done I hope you've enjoyed this I know it's been a long one and I will see you all soon um, let me know what you're colouring and how you're getting on and are you enjoying your season are you enjoying the Christmas time stuff that's all going on all over YouTube because I am I'll see you soon bye